they had this arrangement. Nigeria had this arrangement that we are going to make available so so dollars for you from their foreign counterparts, central bank and the foreign. But when we give you this money, the ideal thing is to attach it to production, attach it to something, so that that will give you the value of uh, repaying that back. But they said when they were giving the money to Nigeria, eh, Emi Fioli and uh, Buhari and his family, they were siphoning the money. Eh? It was like a free for all. And it got to a stage whereby those foreign partners, a lot of them could not release their fund anymore because Nigeria could not reciprocate in the same value of the money they are pumping in. So what happened? Nigeria, uh, Central Bank of Nigeria started failing in fulfilling their own uh, constitutional obligation to their own Nigerian uh, customers, Nigerians' economy. That is when the speculators, according to Emo, speculators came in. Nigeria has already been broken from inside. Nigeria has been castrated from inside. Okay? It is a, it is a slow death that they did not even report. According to it, they, said, they did not even report it. We didn't know it is that bad. He was talking about round tripping, talking about the corruption, talking about every other thing there. So that Nigeria Naira is currently at a 1,251 Naira to a dollar simply means that uh, Nigeria Naira may actually get to 1,500 Naira to a dollar by December. They can't save it. They can't help the Naira. No wonder. From what Ifnubu said at that uh, gathering, eh? from what they wrote for him that he was reading, you know, reading from the teleprompter, because I hope you know that I was reading that from the teleprompter, by the way. Yeah. So from what the lies they told him to be reading and all of that, if Nubu just told those people and said he wants to, he is now going to pump in $10 billion. Just like if Nubu and Emil Fiole were doing then, in the name of trying to control the dollar, I mean, the Naira from crashing, he told those people that they were going to pumping $10 billion to save Nigeria Naira and all of that, because that's what people are now asking them to do. People are asking the government of Nigeria that, can you not just go to your foreign reserve and take some money out eh, and use them to back up a production in your country? And indeed, for those who are demanding for dollars, okay? And, you know, you're going to cut your losses, of course. That is why you have a foreign reserve. That is why you have excess crude account. But uh, Buhari and APC, they've emptied everything. Um, they used Nigerian foreign reserve as a collateral. They collected the $30 billion, $31 billion. They used Nigerian foreign reserve as collateral. Nobody is asking them, what did they do with the $30 billion? They just said, we used it as collateral. Nobody is asking, where is the money right now? Buhari is still taking pictures. They are still posting his pictures that uh, he is enjoying his retirement. Persiwe suppose they could also leave their prison. Eh? I'll just find a place in maybe, you know, like Orillo. They came to somewhere in, uh, uh, what do you call it? Maybe in Assyria or somewhere where the war cell shall just go and lock him up there. They are still calling him leader. Sure, you get. Now, they don't have any money. The stealing of Nigeria crude oil. Is still ongoing, but because Steve Numbu said they are going to use forex to blah blah blah. The next thing, breaking news: Tinumbu said Tinumbu is now ready to use to pump forex to defend the naira. Um, it was it was the same thing they said in June. Okay, in June they said Steve Numbu is doing unification of uh, Nigerian forex uh, exchange, which is not true. They don't get anything to defend anything. I don't know how to say this to you. Okay? This is not like, eh, but uh, let us trust them now. Let us give them a chance. And uh, let us, I have read some people who said that even if it is Obi, she be they will be telling all of you now to give him a chance. That even if it is Atiku, she they will not be telling all of you to give him a chance since I've gone bad. Why can't you just give Tinumbu a chance too? She, have you not heard people say that? That apart from those of you who are angry, oh, it's not my president, it's not my president. No, no, no. I'm saying, have you not heard people who are asking you to give him a chance? Like if they want to, if they don't want to talk about the policies, they want to talk about uh, 
how things are in Nigeria right now. Then they will tell you, at least give him a chance. Let's all of what he is doing. Eh? Let us see what he is doing and see the result of that. At least give him like six months or even a year. People are saying that to you already, Abi. Remember they told you the same thing about Bokwari? Eh? When they brought this, their change, 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 Abi. They told you to give Bokwari a chance and let his policy come to be. What they didn't tell you then, which you later realized was that uh, every action of uh, Bokwari at the time was to further plunge you into, into the abyss of uh, God knows. You know it anyway now. Now I can tell you this for free. Those who are telling you to give Tifnubu a chance, at least give him some chance. Let us wait for his policy. They are as dumb as a doorbell. They are as uh, treasures. I mean, treasures as uh, what you can think. And I can promise you this. They are criminally minded as the same Tifnubu and APC they are telling you to give a chance. Four months ago, Tifnubu told the world that they are doing something what is called, uh, you know, uh, uh, re, what do you call it again? Eh? They want to unification, unification of uh, Nigeria exchange rate, whatever that even means. They now went into the media that Tinubu has put together this new central bank wearies, who are actually those who also work with Emefiole, by the way. Okay, in case if you don't know, some of them work with Emefiole, the ones that are coming to come and rescue Naira under Tifnumbu. They now said, Tifnubu, they are doing some meeting. Tifnubu is going to release 10 billion. That all this dollar, once it gets to uh, 1,000 naira to a dollar, it will begin to fall. It will begin to fall. It will begin to fall and fall and fall. Ah, uh, Lori Iro. They said Tifnubu has made arrangement. He's going to save money from subsidy. And he's going to pre pre make arrangement for $10 billion. So everybody that wants to exchange dollars, instead of going to the black market, so even those economists, they are telling Tifnubu to bring in more dollars. If he wants to save Naira, go and get dollars, like, like 20 billion or 30 billion dollars, okay? Just bring it. So everybody that needs dollar, uh, 1 million, 2 million for business, for everything, eh? let them have access to that cheap dollar. Subsidize it for them. And by so doing, eh, you will crash the dollar. Even if you bring 100 billion dollars, the same way, now, them and their friends will get the dollars, not those businessmen and women. And by the time the $100 billion is finished, they have moved it to wherever they want to move it all over the world. Nigeria, Nigeria Naira will begin to, to dance uh, as on to again. As on to, as on to. Nigeria Naira, come here. Abana, that one a free will. You know all those uh, hilly, hilly uh, road. You go to see Nigeria Naira, they dance as on to, naked as on to, on a hilly road. No break, no jam. Because the money where they take, they defend them, don't finish. They won't put that money in industries. They won't put that money in uh, the economy. They are going to create an avenue of how they are going to steal the money until it will finish. If it's going to take them two years to finish it, Nigeria Naira can stay at uh, 1,000 Naira for two years. And they will be telling you they are doing the best job. They are doing it to keep Nigeria economy. And the rest of you won't know what they have done to you. Moment that money finish, Nigeria Naira go cross border. Just same way, the moment Nigeria Naira slept on the 28th of May, eh? and remember that Eme Fioli and Bokuari, they were the one who destroyed her. Nigeria Naira woke up eh? 12 noon on the 29th of May. Can't realize, say, Bulaba, Bala Blue, Blue Blue, the Jagabandi, the Jagabandi, the Jagaditi. Is now the president of Nigeria, Omo Ninara Bajapa. Since then, everybody don't beg Nara to come back. Hey, we are so concerned. Though. I am so worried. Eh, my ego. Ah, this Naira, eh? Can you believe it, my ego? That, eh? Omo, I believe everything. Oh, ah, my ego. If you know this hardship, eh? This hardship is, uh, I believe you, my dear people. I do. I know what it means. And that's exactly what that guy was saying that, uh, they didn't know it's this bad. There is nowhere to go to and get any money. There is no 10 billion anywhere to get. There is nobody to give them any dollars to come and use to defend Naira. Nothing. They're just making mouth. They're just open. I mean, you would think 
at some point, let's say maybe things will change. You have no idea what thing happened to Nigeria. You have no idea. But again, the actions of Tifnumbu has shown that uh, you are not recovering from this. He's, he has appointed nearly 2,000 media aid to defend this uh, destroyed uh, image, embarrassing image, disgraceful image. You don't even get an image, by the way. That is uh, uh, what uh, Rich said last night. Rich, our brother from uh, St. Keith, I mean, Keith. St. Keith. Uh -huh, St. Keith. Can you hear me? I'm you, you're done. We didn't have to so you. St. Keithy, you know, you remember Rich? Eh? Rich said, how could a man that could barely talk, that could not even say anything, how could you believe that that man is coming to rescue you? I mean, this man, oh, that's the man Rich was talking about. All I want to do is dance. I want music. New Zans Lily. New Zans Lily. New Zans in you. Call. You get? Now, person we won't call rescue will be that. With uh, different, different sellers. With their own flu too. Boom, 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 boom. Everywhere you turn. Boom, boom, boom. Trying to tell you that uh, stop calling him a forger. Stop calling him a drug uh, dealer. Stop calling him that. Say you're president. Naira, we see a way wrong. Pick race. The other part, listen to this. Speculative component of the demands that we are grappling with. So we are not only dealing with the demand pressure coming. People, where they talk, say they want to stabilize Naira. They want to unify Naira. Eh? They already speak another English now. Now, speculative, speculative tendencies, speculative people that are, are speculating because of uh, Naira, and they are now speculating. We are dealing with speculative. Olori Brukuni, they are destroying your lives and your businesses every day. But they find the right word to use to convince you that some enemy people are the ones that are making it difficult. Speculative. Before the middle of November, go on, oh, yeah, dollar to one five. Before the middle of November. Eh, Emi, Emi, come sober for me. There is uh, this uh, voice telling me that uh, Mayegun, Mayegun, by the middle of November, eh, my, uh, pound sterling go don't cross one thousand six hundred. Dollar go don't cross uh, one thousand five hundred. Or it go don't the it go don't the romance one thousand five hundred like that. You know that way you'll be romance like, hey, hey, hey. Come on, dear Joe. Eh, Nigeria naira. Maybe it could be like uh, one thousand four hundred and uh, something. Eh. Just same way that uh, you see Nigeria, I mean, pound sterling today, 1,470 something. So, one pound sterling in Nigeria now, eh? Nigeria Naira is now romancing 1,500 Naira. So, it'd be like, say, pound sterling daily year now. Pa the value of pound sterling now, 1,500. If they go one five, but Nigeria Naira is still day 1,470. So, you got to the, the approach the pound sterling like, Come here. And Paul Stanley is like, no, 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 you can't afford you can't afford me. No, you can't, you can't. Come here. I'll be 471 today. I don't say you they go one five. One one five. Now so Naira and I saw Naira go they go they drag 1,500 with the dollar. Probably before the end of November. Go just be like, hey, sir, oh my god, okay. Dollar don't turn to 1,480. Oh my I mean, so for you. Oh, my, the one five, but now so they go the romance, romance. When I go see, get to a stage whereby you go change one naira. I mean, sorry, one dollar be one pounds for two thousand naira. If you talk to my union, you know, speculative people now, them cause speculative component of this bar, speculative component of the demands that we are grappling with. So, we are not only dealing with the demand pressure coming from the normal business activities i'm talking now about manufacturers and business that need foreign exchange on top of that we are dealing with a very serious component big component of speculative activities so it's a double whammy and that is what has you know 
created this very serious crisis. And when you are in this kind of situation, it is difficult to go full throttle or to go to the extreme of a market-driven system because the fundamentals are not there to support it. Uh, on top of that, we have huge backlogs that have not been cleared. We have almost a total collapse of confidence in the system. So it has been difficult to also attract inflows into the foreign exchange market because to build your reserves, apart from your exports, I'm talking now about largely the oil exports, you also need inflows and that is the way it is all over the world. You need inflows from foreign direct investors, you need inflows from portfolio investors, you need inflows from remittances from diaspora and so on and so forth. Because of the confidence crisis that we are dealing with in the foreign exchange market and the terrible signaling effects that all the maturing obligations that we are not able to meet are sent globally, all these things have combined together to create the kind of crisis that we find uh, 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 currently. So that is, that, is what, that is my understanding of what the situation is and where we are presently. All right. The first thing on my mind is... Don't say it. Whatever is on your mind, sir, keep it. We have heard what we wanted to hear. Hmm? There is uh, this part uh, of uh, my childhood, and it has to do with uh, this uh, expression of... Um, uh, what do I call that in the game? Pajaric or something like that. It's like this. I'll describe it, okay? You'll be in the gathering and everybody will begin to sing their own different kind of on uh, Thursday song or your day, Jala and all of that. Okay, you get. If you are Yoruba, you understand what I mean. But in Ijebu, we kind of have a joke whereby uh people are making contributions and all of that saying their own and you just jump into it i'll be like ma koniko ijebu ma koniko i want to sing a song go and they will say michael 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 don't don't sing it don't sing it they know it's probably just like you just want to like bring something uh, that is probably not going to be relevant to this conversation anymore. Michael, 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 Michael. That's exactly what it is to that person because that person just mentioned the diaspora and he also mentioned trust in the system. Eh? They know the truth too. They said they are fighting trust in the system. People don't have trust. Me, where they hear, you know the value where I carry. You where they. You day uh, where you day now? You day Oshodi, or you day uh, Oluwali, or wherever you are right now. I am talking because of Tifnumbu. You said they talk. You know, get sense. You should, they're supposed to slap you. Did you hear those who are who uh, are feeding fat from your money? Eh, talking to those who matter. Diasporans, diaspora remittances. 36 billion US dollars annual remittance into Nigeria from people like me. Now, people like me, we get real value. And you wearies, the ass lickers, the crumb eaters, the crumb chasers, the all risers, Lagos, Abobaku, and Co. The Agbadorians and the rest of you, when the people like us, they talk and react to the consequences of these criminals in charge of Nigeria, ruining and destroying the people's lives in Nigeria, you are sheer is should not be talking. You don't get value. Let's be honest, so you don't get any value for that place. Your criminal leaders know us. God bless you, Jerry. Sewage rats. They are sewage rats. Remember, no, sewage dwellers. Now you go come talk, maybe in a cockroach, they inside the sewage, or in a rat, they inside the sewage. 
Anything where you know, say they dwell inside this inside sewage. That's why we call them sewage dwellers. Now where they now where they live. No apologies, by the way. And we are not uh, poverty shaming you or slum shaming you. I don't, I don't care anyway. You know, I am a very valuable person. A lot of people watching me right now, they are so valuable. These are people who have been subsidizing Nigeria, whereby Nigeria is, has not turned to Venezuela. But we don't have any trust in these criminals. They know that. With the corruption that Nigeria, with the, with the, with the level of corruption and with, with the level of uh, the rich system that you have in Nigeria, the confidence of people like me returning my money. I mean, the, we are the greatest investor, the diasporans. Now, we they go back, they, they go back, they build the house. Now, we won't build the estate. Now, we won't build the, this. Now, we won't pay for that. $36 billion every year remittance back to Nigeria. It has almost, I mean, it's now almost a $40 billion. No? As we are paying hospital bill, we are paying uh, school fees. As we are paying for somebody's wedding, we they pay for somebody's operation. Yeah, medicals. As we, they, as we are paying for somebody's, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, legal representation, we are also getting somebody out of uh, the police net by bribing. All of us from the diaspora, People are, are even beginning to even pay money for ransom when their family members are kidnapped in Nigeria. The insecurity and everything that is affecting us here, a lot of people have now deployed means of, it better me I move my family out of Nigeria. And I will not have to worry about sending my money there or putting my money there anymore. And that is also taking a, uh, taking a, a real toll on Nigeria. They can't, they can't hide that from you. We don't get trust in you criminals. People who returned their money to go and invest in Nigeria ended up being duped. Some of us have died. After you don't suffer, suffer from abroad. You put your money back. They say, government don't demolish the house. Hey, they don't demolish 150 million naira house. Hey, cuckoo kill me. I'm finished. Baba, why are you finished? 20 years in America, I'm finished. They have demolished my house. I have a CFO signed by the governor. I have all of this, all the original documents. They said, no, I built on the sewage. They've demolished it. Oh, I'm actually like, I've lost my business because, you know, those things, eh, people are beginning to have a rethink. I'm not putting my money there. And if I'm going to put my money there, I'm going to have to, like, be very careful. The more they ruin Nigeria. So if all of us, we be Nigerians, eh, we don't get trust in what they have done with Nigeria. And we know that uh, you, that they have probably, like, uh, forced to become their humble slaves or obedient slaves to them. I don't know. I mean, like, all of you who are enabling them in Nigeria, eh, you have, if all of us with the here are being careful with where we put our money in Nigeria because we don't want to anymore, and they are already feeling that in your economy as it, as it should be, eh? So all of us, where they here, that is pulling it back, like I said, if all of us feel that way, what about those who say they are not from Nigeria, non-Nigerians? Uh, what do you say to them to come and uh, invest and bring their money to Nigeria? They are feeling it too. But their action will continue to keep everybody away because who won't go invest where they are president a certificate forger, a drug baron, election rigger, eh? Mr. Violence. I'm talking about a real criminal who won't go put their money there if you are not a criminal yourself. Hmm? You can't lie to the world. The world is more informed now than when these criminals were growing up. And for them to think we are still in the 60s or in the 50s, yeah, it's even insulting. The world knows and they know. So the consequences for bringing in uh, criminals and then uh, maintaining them or keeping them in power is not limited to just uh, those who don't like them. It is general. All of us go collect, and we are collecting. So if the Supreme Court is going to say if Nobu is uh, legit, which is what they are going to say, I hope you probably are getting ready. I mean, you are getting ready for the for the life after that. I just thought I should remind you. You don't, you know what I mean? Eh? Let us take cause. Ma, take cause. Prayer docent. I got your message, Mao. Eh? And indeed, we are grateful, oh.
So, and I'm going to deliver your message here to Mr. Lukman. Okay. So, prayer docent has sent me to Mr. Lukman. And just like we have uh, so many people on this platform who still feels like, uh, uh, even though we are so disappointed, I mean, disappointed with uh, how things have become in that place. And then uh, the open collaboration of our people with these criminals as well. Nevertheless, there are still people who still feel like, you no, know, I mean, you know, let's, let's just, just, just give. You know, let's, let's kind of not give up in supporting as much as uh, we can. Let's give it. So, prayer docent. Thank you. To Napa, it's been a long time. I've not seen you. So, you are around there tonight or I have just not caught your comment, Abby. Anyway, I am going to take calls, okay? But I need to go and make myself another cup of tea. So, another copper. Then when I get back, I'll take calls. So, do me that favor. I don't know what happened to Facebook today, but I have never seen anything like that before. Never. They would rather not let a lot of people see me. Then you see just 200 people, 300 people watching me. But I have never seen anywhere I had uh, nearly 900 people watching live. And then the OT just dropped to 20. I have never seen anything like that before. But if it is Facebook, remember you need to go and follow me on that uh, Rumble. I'm going to copy my Rumble link now and I'm going to put it in the comment section, okay? You can follow me there. I can go live like this on Rumble. But I just don't know if I can go live same time. But we need to begin to build that. So like the broadcast, subscribe to my channel, okay? We are just on YouTube tonight. So there's no rush. I will be back. Thank you. Um, sorry, I have a caller. My caller, I'm going to. Uh, prayer docent. Sorry, ma. I just found out that uh, it's actually a birthday gift uh, for somebody, uh, for Tai Musbao. I'm just reading the message again. I mean, I will get that delivered, okay? So thank you very much and God bless you, by the way. 
So, and then happy birthday to uh, Mr. Fatai um, Musbao. Uh, you know, drama road, and that's what prayer to say said. Thank you. My caller. Hello there. Oh, well, I actually thought I got the call there. Are you there? Mm, let's see. Okay, let's try again. Um, hello. Oh dear, something seems to be off. Um, okay. By the way, can you hear me? By the way, can you can you still hear me out there? If my caller is not uh, hearing me, then something is kind of off. Let's see. That's, that's strange. Right, I've actually lost the person now. Let me try another one. Now, if something is, I'm going to. Loud and clear. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, that is it clearer now. So sorry about that, man. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. All hell, Biafra. All hell, Odudua. All hell, Biafra. All hell, Odudua. Bro, how are you? I mean, how are you tonight? I'm good, I'm good. Just, um lounging in coming back from new york just listening to you right now you know right you know the struggle never ends you know it thank you for everything that you're doing hmm. you know and it just is mind-boggling you know just watching what is going on and is this some kind of joke or is this some kind of a weird world that you know like twilight zone that we're in <laughs> you know everything is upside down you know and people are just going along with it and that's the most scariest part about it but um i have a premonition that um that revolution that we've all been looking for is is soon going to happen because after this whole judiciary real thing with the oh my god with this corrupt um judges and stuff like that supreme court these obedient people I think they is, is going to step to another level where now everybody's going to carry arms and then do the needful. And I can see it coming. Can you? You know? Because uh, mm. Tinumbu and his people are also never going to just uh, let go, right? The moment they have uh, the backing of the Supreme Court, it's going to be their own uh, the tool. But the people should also kind of have, have it at the back of their mind that it's either you are ready to confront that or you don't, you don't actually fight it at all. It's nothing like a touch and go, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, right now, I mean, it's building up. And people that weren't interested in, in before are now interested. That's right. So more and more people are angered. So things are going to happen. It's going to be bad. But, you know, for any good thing to happen, there has to be something bad, you know, in terms of bloodlet and things like that. And then we now find our ways. And Look at uh, Rwanda. Yeah, I've been to Rwanda like twice already and um, to see how it turned out with just people when people fight back and, and defend themselves. You know, that's what's going to happen. You know, but let me not hold you up. Continue the good work. Oh, yeah, my group, please. We got to We got to start promoting this rumble. We got to uh, start promoting it's, this it's rumble. Active, OK, I'm going to work on that and I'm going to begin to put a few videos there just to keep it uh, kind of active until we build the audience properly. And we will build it. Okay. Thank All you right. so much, man. All right, everybody, click the like button and support. Bless you, man. Thank you so much. Now, that's uh, uh, one there. Uh, we are going to have to, like, uh, sorry, I'm actually trying to get uh, my second caller on as well. I'm going to one like twice already. Hello, uh, there. My good Jenner. Yes, sir. How are you? This is, uh, this is Windy City. Geometer. Windy City. It's been a while, sir. How are you tonight? Yes. Uh, I, actually, I lost. I, uh, not bad. I was in Nigeria in August. I uh, lost the number. I don't know. You changed the number. So, and I've been trying since I came back. Uh, and I didn't get to. I was even, I was just lucky today. I know. The, the phone died uh, with me. And it's been like a while now. It's been probably a few months now. But it's good to hear you back. I know. I, Oh, thank you. So, um, and I, I really, really appreciate what you're doing. 
because and even when i was in nigeria i was so lucky to have a youtube whatever so i just soak it in around eight o'clock in the evening that's right so uh overall i think where the stage we're getting into now is uh it's up to nigerian people that's right. honestly i've what you know i haven't called in for some time and it seems like people in diaspora they doing they're doing the most mm. people in nigeria seem to like they just sit back and when i was in nigeria i asked one of the guys say how can you allow an elderly guy to be slapping you around and you just sit there taking it it's like a bully in a schoolyard mm. if nobody challenged him or her they keep on doing the same thing That's right. so at this point uh, I'm not going to waste my time. I'll just sit down. I have a bag of popcorn and I'm waiting for the day everything will explode. Mm. If it's going to explode. If the people will wake up and smell the coffee, like, hold on a second. Are we going to be eating on the, uh, on the uh, what do they call it? Where they keep the trash? Eating from the bin. You know? Mm. Yeah. Bin is even better. You know, we our own trash in Nigeria is in the middle of the road. Mm. Well, he pile up, <laughs> you know, by the roadside, mm. he pile up. So I don't know what to say. I was very upset today. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't really care about, I don't give two monkeys about Nigeria. But today I was very upset because, I mean, coming back from work, I sat there and I followed everything and I just see how the <laughs> Did you see all Animal those red flags that pointed out, sir? Uh, it was spot on. I, actually, at one point, I do. I just, I'm like, do they tell my even before they did this thing? We need to. We need to. We need to. It's easy, isn't it? We need to. It's you, my ego. Are you sure you are not at the, the table where they discuss that thing? Because <laughs> it's pinpoint accuracy. Pinpoint. Baba. It's just that people don't pay attention. All of all of us don't pay attention to some things. You know what I mean? A lot of us have uh, a lot. Well, a lot of you here, you have a lot that you have to make sure that uh, you pay attention to every day of your life to keep your things uh, running, Abby. So I just do the wow. main attention on the basic. I mean, on the major ones that uh, you don't have to. And it's the same thing. If everybody actually really pays attention, eh? They will all see this whole thing coming before now. And sir, they probably wouldn't have invested their time. But again, life is a teacher, they say. I was, like I say, I was actually felt sick on my way to Nigeria. Uh, the following day, I went to the chemist or whatever they call it. Right. And I bought an about and it cost me like about eight or 10,000. And they don't even sell in a package. They sell like uh, they take out of the package. I did thought you, you bought those, it out. Uh, sachets, like those ones. They, I mean, sorry, uh, dispensary bags. No, they, they, you know, the chemist are where well, I made sure that the chemist was like one of the, you know, authentic ones. I don't know. Thank God. Mm -hmm. So, so they, they took it out of the box. They taking it out of the box. They give you the sachet, like that's eight thousand. I said, excuse me. So what about if somebody doesn't have money? That means they just die. While I was standing there, I bought an eye, eye drop for one guy. He just came in. I'm like, oh, Lord, this is bad. This is really bad. But what can you do? And how many Yoruba will say, Alara, 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 I want to have an idea. They are not, I don't think they are they're having a problem. Yeah. It's only we in diaspora that are thinking like, this is not normal. It's, it's not it's not normal and at this point in time keep doing what you're doing i will uh, uh and god will give you god will give you god will reward you we cannot reward you amen we cannot sing a praise song for you that will reward you because if everybody listen to this in nigeria and it's this sit there there's something is wrong with them and one more thing before i leave before i, before I go there was a there was a one episode that one lady came up with an idea that maybe we should have we you should have a uh, and uh the Igbo for version and you you guys were talking about maybe you get somebody who speak that language whatever I know so maybe you 
learn it. I'm like, that's a long way of doing it. Maybe if you can get somebody that be doing Hausa fashion, like you speaking in English, you know the way they use it, the way they do it, like if Russian uh, president is talking and they be voicing over it. I know. Yeah, if I don't, I know it's going to cost money, but I mean, no, nothing. We can come up with something like that. You'll be talking in English, and the Yoruba will be saying the Yoruba, and the Yausa will be saying the Yausa at the same time. I know. So everybody what, will what catch it at the that, same uh, time. I am, uh, you know, I, 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 like you said, it's all uh, cost effective. If you really want to put uh, all the yes. resources together to keep rolling all of that out on a regular basis, because once you start, you can't stop. If you really want to have the effect of what we are doing right so sir i am uh, uh indeed working on something like that i need uh, to have uh, a place where i've got Igbo friends here i've got Ausa friends here i've got middle Beltans who speak other languages here in glasgow i have met few of them you know what i mean so okay. if there is a place where people can conveniently come in for example eh? especially those who have uh, that kind of uh, expertise of uh, you know subtitling or even voiceover if there is a space where they can come to conveniently and do all of that with no uh, disturbance and all that i think uh, i'll be able to deliver all of that and i'm working something on i'm working on something rather and hopefully it works out God is if it does i should cover all those God groups, including all those platforms God. and we should have all our messages including my heart God will make it. Amen. God I want to have God will make it true. Amen. So I want to have uh, the diaspora radio app uh, sorted uh, soon okay. as well, which simply means that uh, for those who uh, don't always have the time to listen to me live, apart from that, uh, and then those who are mostly mobile, you know what I mean? Like you can't be watching my ego and then you are also yeah. driving. Now with the uh, diaspora radio app on your phones, just like every other SoundCloud, YouTube, sorry, SoundCloud, uh, Sound, whatever, you know, all those app, Spotify, whatever it is, you can have them there too. And you can listen to Mayegun's podcasts, unlimited mm. podcasts. But all of these things, and eh, quick they require the resources, yeah. you know. I know. And quick question, I want anybody in the audience, in the uh, Gospel of uh, the Truth. Yes, sir. If you can answer, if somebody can answer this question, what what do we think was going to happen today if everybody come out and flock into federal to the judiciary it's something? What they were doing? Are they going to kill everybody? I don't think everybody so. like millions of people. I mean, like they did in Niger. You know what somebody said, sir? Somebody said, "Can you imagine that Nigeria will still be quiet if it was?" Uh, Omar Yele Shore that they rigged out that got six uh, plus million votes and have the evidence that they rigged them out. Do you think Nigeria will still be this peaceful or quiet if this was Shore? I don't think so. I, uh, I don't think it's impossible. What do you tell her now? What do you tell her now? If six million people, if these people rigged and they rigged Shore and rigged them to six million people, and Shore have the evidence that uh, Omar, no, we all know Nigeria won't be this peaceful now. I mean, we'll be having like yeah. shut down. They won't swear Timunubu in. You can bet on that. There will be no swearing in. Anyway. But uh, here we are. It's, it's not sure. Nice. It's, it's, nice it's nice to hear your voice. It and is, yeah, my regards to everybody in the temple. Thank you. Sir. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. And you too. Yes, stay safe, sir. Good enough. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Maya. Good, good evening. Hello, good evening to you. How are you doing today? Yeah. I'm good. Let me just uh, pause you on my system, okay? Right. Um, I'm going to touch on some few things. I'll be quick as usual. I mean, have you um, please go on. Okay. The Supreme Court. I'm surprised some people are still disappointed that they are still they still have expectation. We, we've all, we've been saying this from the beginning that there's nothing. I mean, they are going to even shock more people. Exactly. You th you thought the you thought they told us off it during the um, um the, the the first hearing this is even going to be worse see that judge that uh joined today he's going to be one of the headmasters and one of the senior prefects that will be t telling obi and um article off on the day okay, go and write that down that will be whipping yeah. them and then they rebuke yeah. them and then yeah. uh, you know yeah. <laughs> It's going to be senior prefect on that day telling them off. Now, number two, we ready. 
there is likely that every ten uh, ten dollars uh, you send or every uh, ten uh, ten pounds you send, the government will say, okay, we are going to put uh, we, um, some kind of percentage now belongs to the federal government. Like you guys need to tax. be. They can come up with it. Thank you. Yeah, they will just call it one fancy name. Yeah, you need to. We need all. We need to build. We need to rebuild. You know, you need to be. Uh, you need to be patriotic. You need to build. And where is the money going to? It's going to Tinubu and his um, and his gang of thieves. Now, number three, I hear everybody talking about uh, uh, people should come out on the street. The last caller, uh, uh, respectfully, sir, you should be ready to come down to Nigeria. I'm ready to come to Na come down to Nigeria. So this thing of saying of saying yeah, um, Obi did not do these and all that that they are uh, they are being out there. Listen. You don't understand. They set a trap for Obi, and Obi never fell for it because they were they were waiting for Obi to call his people out on the street and all that, and they will have arrested him a long time ago and even banged him um, in a dungeon like Namdekano, uh -huh. and that will be all. But what people are saying is that, uh, okay, if that should be the case, would the supporters mm -hmm. uh, keep Nigeria mm -hmm. cool if Obi is arrested and locked up? No, no, it is after the Supreme Court now we're oh, going to okay, enter the okay. second yeah, I agree with you, Like, Obi won't want to disrupt it. That they will say, no. if he had waited for no. court, he should have yes, been patient that and wait for. I get and it. They will, and, they, and they will tag, and they tag him a terrorist. It was a trap that was set for him. Now, it. another problem Another problem is, I want to be, uh, uh, the IPOB people to understand one thing we all have one common enemy. We need to put our hands together and drive away these people. They are not more than us. The only way we can have Yoruba nation or, or Biafra or whatever and all that, we need to combine. We need to, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we need to combine resources and drive these people out. Because if everybody just listen, it serves. It, it, it serves their purpose for us to be divided and be pointing at each other. Uh, you are POB, uh, you are Yuba Nation, uh, you are these and all that. They are laughing. It's it's a perfect setup for them. So for them, they cannot to be out there. Yeah. If Sunday Guru was uh, was was caught in Nigeria, trust me, he will still be there. He still be languishing in jail. There is no doubt about that. Now, th this is where we need to be smart and all that. Keep all our, our differences that we have, these little, little differences that we have right now, and combine resources and drive away these people. You know, you see, you know what you just said uh, is similar to what uh, Rich mm -hmm. said yesterday. You know what he said? He said, mm -hmm. I understand that you have differences in Nigeria, but can you temporarily mm -hmm. put uh, aside your differences and come together and deal with these people? Exactly. It makes sense. That's it makes sense. sense. And... It, it it just makes sense. It makes sense. I don't know whether you heard the latest. You know they they are they are now they are now after David. They want to take him out with uh, with MC Oluomo and right. with his top. I have actually done series of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, are, they are such they are searching for him all over the place That's to right. take him out. It's 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 going to get dirty very soon. I will advise everybody, every Nigerians, even here, they, they will even start to look for Trace people that are very happy to hunt us down here and there too. And you said uh, so and so so yeah, as as things, yeah, you, as I seen, you you just hear that somebody was shot, you don't understand until yes. they start looking to it and you'll be traced back to Nigeria. This man is desperate. He's dirty and desperate. He's he's a thief, he's a murderer, he's very, very, very desperate. He will do not, anything. Do. That's one thing I would like people to know that uh, exactly, he, exactly. he can be defeated, like he, just like that. But people defeated. just need to come yeah. together. And then we keep blaming Nigerians back home that they are not doing anything. It is not, see, it's not the best situation to be. How many people have got a, a smartphone? How many people can afford to put um, uh, to put airtime on their phone and all that? And, you know, they have, they have the power to slow down, to throttle the speed of the internet in Nigeria. They have that power. So there are some places that you go in Nigeria, there is no network at all. Zilch. It's no network. So how do you expect them to know what is happening? Most of the time, it is us here in the diaspora that tells 
uh, that tell people in Nigeria what is going on. So that's um, going back to that Rumble. That Rumble is a very, very good platform. Even aside from what is happening in Nigeria, all the truth speakers all over the world, even the real truth about Israel and Nazi. And by the way, let me just tell people, we are talking about Nigeria. We are on the verge of, of po possible a uh, possible nuclear weapon. We are not even nu nuclear weapon. And we are not even talking about it. Like a nuclear See, weapon. Yeah, nuclear war. There's problem everywhere, all over the world. There's problem just everywhere. So it's it's now time that you need to get you. Everybody needs to get um informed. And Rumble is a very good place. They have some very good channels. Yeah, and, yeah. They are very very good uh, uh truth speakers there. I know that if you want to get the truth and uh, you don't you don't want to go through all the uh, mainstream media, Rumble is the only place. I've I've been following Rumble since twenty twenty. Twenty, and that was why I I refused their stupid vaccine, and it proved me right. A lot of people died and all that. You know, look at all the propaganda and all that. That if you don't do this and all that, but did we not see the people, all, all, all the people that were having um uh, um uh, all the people that were having a, a heart attack, which could, could not be explained uh, because of the vaccine? Is it not Rumble warned everybody? Some some channels that they they tell you the truth raw and direct. So I think that Rumble thing is something we can do, and even if it is something that we have. To do, we can put our hands in the pocket and all that. Just let us know and what we can do, Thank you know, you. and uh, you and much. and work on it. But Tinobu and his um, and his um, and his rogues. And remember that channel I sent you that I talked to you about. I don't know whether you checked it out. Right. That we gentleman. Pressing them and I check, but you know, I'm I'm just like this. Then I'll just listen to me yeah, about that... if, uh, you know about if two minutes or uh, ninety seconds or so. No. I move it again. I'm like because. Uh, no. I don't have patience to actually listen to all those irritating people. And I no, no, that, no, 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 no. That guy is being is being sponsored by um by by the APC. The guy is the most stupid person I ever I've ever 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 seen. You know, he is he came on um, uh, Doctor Rudolph's um thing about two weeks ago, and one professor gave it to him. I really gave it to him. And by the way, Peter Obi is coming to uh, Dr. Rudolf very soon. I'll let you know anyway when the time is set and all that. So I will encourage a lot of people. Yes. I will encourage a lot of people to come. And I'm, I'm sure Rudolf will want to have you and all that. You can you have the opportunity to even engage with him directly. Well, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much eh, for yeah. the consideration, Baba. Yeah. That's so nice of you. No right. Thank you so much. No and you have a good one. Okay. okay. Thank you, Baba. Me too, Maggie. Bye-bye.